Yeah, students at Millwood High School realized some of their students were missing class because they couldn't afford period products. Now it's a barrier that could be solved statewide. These two seniors at Millwood High School are now credited with a grassroots effort to get menstrual products into the hands of students across the state. We had many students that weren't able to get hygiene products for themselves and it was a burden. Being able to help them and get them to what they need was essential for us. Elizabeth and Tyranny are VP and President of Millwood Senior Class. After noticing girls were missing class because they couldn't afford hygiene products, they went to their superintendent. When they first brought it up to me, I was honestly pretty ashamed. Um, I try my best to um, be a top of issues you know, related to kids, and it wasn't just something that ever came to presence of mind, um, which I think highlighted a privilege for myself. The solution came from a donation from Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. Now Millwood Public Schools has free menstrual products at the middle school and high school. Every uh, time that we restock, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so glad that you put that in there. I needed this. But the girls weren't satisfied yet. It's, it's amazing to think that um, something so small and just um, locally just in our schools has gone to gone to Senator Young. Last year, Senator George Young filed a bill to provide free female hygiene products in all Oklahoma schools. It didn't get far, but he has filed the bill again this session, Senate Bill 1271. This need was brought to me, and it was brought to me in such a way that I thought, we need legislation for this. We need for the state to jump on board and to help us with this. And we got it because we're sitting on $5 billion in just one savings account. We're not even asking for that much money. Senator Young says it could be an uncomfortable topic for some, but if it's preventing students from learning, it's an issue in education that needs to be addressed now. Now, Senator Young says he is working with school districts across the state to figure out how much money would be necessary to put female hygiene products in all schools. Reporting live, Kylie Thomas, KOCL 5 News.